Breaking news. The police have identified our suspect wearing a blue top and a funny looking hat. Last seen walking on the streets of Toronto. What his conviction? It's absurd, Susan. He watched a video without liking or subscribing. He's out of his mind. Cadets, you're not supposed to struggle with debt forever. Thanks for tuning in. This is your host, Mustafa Nassar, and welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and break down this effect. I used Avenger Resolve to do all these effects and I haven't used Fusion. It's all just using the Edit tab and the Color tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break down the scene by scene and I'm going to break down how to do the cloning effect and one of the color effects. So to start with, I actually had to record this scene multiple times. So I set my camera around outside of the frame over here and I set it up to manual focus. And I just, when I was playing, I just recorded the first clip. And then the second time I just recorded the second clip of me going in and I had to mask all this out. By masking, I mean, I kind of deleted half of that clip out of the edit so I can use the clip that's underneath, which is this one. So as soon as I turn this on, it's going to show up. And the way I did this is very, very simple. So then I go to the edit tab. Now you can select. I'm just going to do it all over just for demonstration. So let's just say, for example, I have this clip right here. And the one way to do it is you need to add something called an alpha output. And the alpha output, pretty much whatever you have on the top layer, we're going to translate to the bottom layer if you mask it out. Meaning, let's say if I wanted to do a power window just like that and put it in there, it's not going to do anything and it's not going to show anything in, in there. However, as soon as I start to connect the alpha output, it kind of deleted everything on the other side, like outside of that window and just used what's inside of that. And this is a very, very powerful tool. You can do a lot of transitions with it. And uh, it's just very, very simple to use. So no fusion needed. I just did that for all of the scenes. Like for this one, I had to adjust it a little bit because I was using my hand. So I didn't want the hand to get cut. Same thing with this one, because I had my remote. So I had to adjust that and that was pretty much it and so that being said i'm just gonna put this one back to where it was okay now the next scene was very very similar i had recorded myself multiple times one in here and one on the other side and i messed myself out and I actually didn't have anything on the screen. So I recorded a separate screen and I put it on top. And the same thing was when I did the news, that's another clip. And that was also another clip. So this was actually the, the actual TV. And I just used some assets from Photoshop to put that on. And that was pretty much it using all masking tools. Now moving on next is the color effect. So that's very, very similar. I've done that twice. So I filmed myself multiple times and here is how I changed the colors. So I did cut the clip to show the before color and after color. So as soon as I hit the button, it shows that I changed my color. And the way I did it was I went to the color tab and it was just pretty much one node. These are like very basic color grading and this is the power window. And this was the one that actually controlled the color. And I'm gonna demonstrate how this was done. So let me just 
take this out and I'm gonna make another one and connect it so basically I wanted to isolate the blue color to manipulate it so all I did was I selected qualifier and the selection range and I just click and drag I pressed Control H to see what I'm selecting I just want to remove some of that noise and that's pretty much that's pretty much it and I can go into my curves and hues and I can change the hues a little bit and I was done I can play it a little bit with the gain if I wanted to add like more layers to the color if I wanted to or I wanted to manipulate how bright or how dark it is and uh, yeah that's pretty much how you can change the color however sometimes when you do a color um, sometimes it gets caught into you know other colors as well let's say you have I was wearing a jeans and there are some blue on it obviously from reflections and all of that so what you can do is I can just go ahead and finesse that a little bit and maybe add a little bit denoise and clean blacks and slightly change my saturation and now the effect looks very very believable I just might have to add a little bit more color so I can just go back to my hues and add a little bit more or add some gain to it let's just say I wanted to do this and change it to maybe orange but for the clip I wanted to make it green because it was very close and it was a lot easier to do than red so this would be how we change the color and I did the same thing with the other one and I changed it to purple and it was just one mask and this is how to do a very very quick and dirty masking clip to try and mask out something from your frame and how to change a color on the fly let's say if you're having something for a client or something for personal work you just don't like one color and you just want to manipulate it that's one of the ways you can actually manipulate the color and change it to something that you like if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like and a comment it really help out the algorithm and help the channel grow and I think you're gonna like this video as well. I've done a 3D zoom effect using CapCut and it's a complete tutorial. So please check it out. And um, until then, just take it one day at a time and I'll see you in the next video.